everyone. Welcome to BPI TV. I am joined today by Mark Diamond, CEO and thought leader of YMC America. Mark is currently the Chief Executive Officer and President for YMC America, and in his current role, he manages all functions at the Devons, Massachusetts Center of Excellence for GMP scale, downstream process technologies and distribution hub for YMC consumable products. Welcome, Mark. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Eden. So I'm just going to get uh, straight into the first question here. So uh, you've had many senior leadership roles in major technology suppliers, um, in including Thermo, Fisher and, and Merck. Um, what attracted you to YMC? Uh, simply put, it was really the mindset of the organization. Um, what do I mean by that? Uh, a few years ago, there was a book written by Simon Sinek uh, entitled The Infinite Game. Uh, in which he describes two types of games, uh, a finite game like football or chess, where you have a known opponent, a known set of rules, with the goal of getting to the end of the game and winning. Um, in contrast, uh, infinite game like business or education, the sole purpose is continuing play rather than to win. As such, the, the strategies that you employ as an organization and the decisions you make are very different. Um, those who think they're in a finite game are, are more focused on things like beating the competition or being number one in their market, while those with an infinite mindset are more focused on becoming really a better version of themselves, improving the quality of their culture, improving the services and the products to their customers. To me, YMC really had that infinite game mindset. Yeah, that's a really lovely philosophy. That really helps drive things forward better, doesn't it? It really does. Um, and uh, and uh, YMC is a pioneer in the application of industrial chromatography, um, founded in 1980. Um, how is YMC coping with evolving with the industry? Well, YMC uh, continues to introduce new, new chromatography resins. Um, I think with the acquisition of our site in Devons, Massachusetts, we've also expanded beyond chromatography systems into standard and customized downstream systems like buffer and line dilution, TFF, cleavage and deprotect. However, I think our biggest evolution is, is really leading the industry shift into multi-column continuous chromatography. Um, a few years ago, the acquisition of Chromacon, who pioneered twin column chromatography, really propelled YMC into a leadership role in this new approach to continuous purification. Uh, the timing of having introduced the twin column technology just as RNA and DNA technologies are evolving is perfect um, and really helping those customers realize tremendous gains in yield and productivity and overall cost reduction. And uh, our next question we have there is uh, a single use is now an established format in the industry, yet um, YMC doesn't have any single use offerings. Um, what made you choose that stance? Um, that's a great question. So we have to reflect on where we think we can provide the best value to our customers. Um, there are many suppliers who are established in the single-use market, and YMC doesn't see the value in just becoming another Me Too organization. However, that being said, when we have a solidified and differentiated single-use offering, we will come to market. It's a little bit of a tease. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and uh, oh, but I suppose following on from that, is there anything else that's next for YMC? Well, our, Ms. Yamamura, the founder and, and owner who is still operating uh, as the CEO and president, has made it well known of the goal of doubling the size of the business with, within the next three years um, and positioning it within the next five years to take it public. Um, this includes a, a really active M&A program, so we'll soon see where that leads YMC. But given our core competencies and Mr. Yamamura's passion for separation sciences, our customers can expect expansion of capabilities in this area of purification. I think in the near term, uh, we've expanded our lab services through recent investment in physical infrastructure and human resources, most notably in US and Japan, but also in other uh, YMC facilities. Fantastic. And uh, finally, I'd like to pick your brain on uh, um, uh, your thoughts about the industry and where business in general is heading now. It's a really interesting time. Um, as I previously mentioned, the rapid uptake of the RNA-based therapies 
uh, is perfectly aligned with our Conti Chrome twin column HPLC systems that leverage our patented MCSGP technology. I'm also very bullish on the collaboration work that we're doing in the areas of AAVs, utilizing the same technology for improved removal of empty and partially filled capsids. I believe the MCSGP technology has enormous potential for yield and cost out gains over the current two-step chromatography processes that are currently used. I think overall YMC is really well positioned for the next decade in both pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical industries. Perfect, thank you so much. Well, I have been Eden Zerner for BPI TV, chatting with Mark Diamond here, CEO from YMC America. Thank you so much, Mark. Thanks, Eden. Mm -hmm.